Welcome. This video will demonstrate how to configure an ALGO 8180 SIP audio alerter as a loud ringer within Cisco Call Manager release 10.5. To summarize, we will begin by finding the IP and MAC address of the 8180. Then we will create an end user and a device within Call Manager. The 8180 will then be configured via its web interface to register with Call Manager. And finally, we will configure Call Manager so that the 8180 will ring at the same time as the target telephone extension. Before we can register the 8180 in Call Manager, we will need the IP and MAC address of the device. The easiest way to obtain the MAC address is on the label on the back of the 8180. For the IP address, there are two options to find this information. The first is to use the ALGO locator tool if the device is plugged into the network. Make a note of the IP and MAC addresses as you will need this information later. The second option is to get the IP and MAC addresses directly from the 8180. By simply pressing the menu button three times and the select button once, the device will speak its IP address. If you press the select button a second time, the 8180 will speak its MAC address. Press select to choose a tone. Press select to start recording. Press select to get device information. IP address is 192.1. Now we will configure the 8180 in Call Manager. First, you will need to log into Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Begin by selecting User Management and pick End User. Here we will add a new end user. To do this, we will complete the user ID. And for this example, we will use 1004. Next, we will make a password and then fill in the last name. For this example, we will use ALGO. Now we can save. The next step is to select device and select phone. Once again, add new and we will scroll down to third-party SIP device basic. Here is where we will enter the MAC address of the 8180. Now we will select Device Pool Default, Phone Button Template, Third Party SIP Device Basic, and for the Owner User ID, select the number of the user we just created, in this case 1004. For Device Security Profile, select Third Party SIP Device Basic, Standard SIP Non Secure Profile. For SIP Profile, select Standard SIP Profile. And for Digest user, we will once again select the user 1004. Now we can save and apply the configuration. Follow this by clicking Add a new DN. Here we will once again pick 1004 and save. For the 8180 configuration, we will enter the IP address in a web browser to access its interface. After logging in to the device, we can register the ring extension of 1004, the authentication ID of 1004, and the password we previously created in Call Manager. Simply save and the 8180 will now be registered with Call Manager. At this point, the 8180 is registered with Call Manager and we can ring the 8180 extension, allowing it to play an internal WAV file over the speaker. Keep in mind, we want the 8180 to ring when we call an existing Cisco telephone. 
To do that, we will forward the Cisco Telephone extension to a hunt group which contains both the Cisco Telephone and the 8180. The next step is to create a hunt group in Call Manager and make the 8180 ring when the target extension is dialed. First, we will check the extensions of the 8180 and our Cisco telephone that we are using. It's important that we also ensure that the hunt group box is enabled. Now we will go to call routing, click on root hunt, and select line group. Now we can add a new line group. And in order to do this, we will need to enter a name. For this example, we will use algo line group. For the distribution algorithm, we will choose Broadcast and select a period of time for the ring as 30 seconds. Under Line Group information, we will add both the telephone and the 8180 directory numbers, in this case 1081 and 1004, respectively. Now we can save. The next step is to create a hunt list. Once again, go to Call Routing root hunt, and then select hunt list and add new. Create a name, algo hunt list, and under Cisco Unified Communications Manager group, select default. Make sure to check off the box, enable this hunt list. Now you can click save and the hunt list member information will appear. Here we will add the line group we have just created. Click save and then click reset for the settings to apply. The next step is to create a hunt group through call routing. Select root hunt and select hunt pilot. Add new. Now for hunt pilot, assign a number which will act as the hunt group's extension. Here we will choose 1111. Under the hunt list, select the hunt list we just created by scrolling down and clicking save. The last step is to go to device, phone, and find the phone you are configuring with the 8180. In this case, it is the one with extension 1081. Once we select this, click on line one in the top left corner. Scroll down and under call forwarding and call pickup settings, Place 1111 in the Forward All box and save the changes. Now, when you dial 1081, both the telephone and the 8180 will ring simultaneously. As a reminder, a number of ringtones are available in the 8180 to suit your application, or you may create your own. For more information on the 8180 SIP audio alerter and other endpoints from ALGO, visit algosolutions.com forward slash SIP or contact us at info at algosolutions.com.